Okay, so I'm going to explain how to find the equation of a line given two points. So, actually I go over a lot of this stuff on another video, but in detail. But this one is just going to be only given two points. Let's say we're given the points 2, negative 4, and 3, 6. So the first thing you want to do is find the slope of these two points. So m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And we're going to go ahead and label these points x1, y1, x2, y2. And plug them in. So y2 is 6 minus y1 is negative 4, so that's 6 minus negative 4. So that's 6 minus negative 4 all over x2 minus x1, so that's going to be 3 minus 2. 6 minus negative 4 is a positive 10, and 3 minus 2 is just 1. So our slope is going to be m equals 10 over 1, or just m equals 10. And now what we want to do is plug this into the point slope formula. y minus y1 is equal to m times the quantity x minus x1. And we'll go ahead and put our arrows to show where we're going to replace variables with numbers. And we go ahead and bring down our y, bring down the minus sign. And we're going to choose one of these two points. And like I mentioned in the detailed video, it doesn't matter which one. In this case here, the 2 is smaller than the 3, and the 4 is kind of smaller than the 6. So I'm going to use the point 2, negative 4. So my y1 is going to be negative 4 is equal to my slope, which here we found out to be 10. So plug the 10 in. And times the quantity, just go ahead and bring down the x, the minus sign, and x1 here is going to be 2. OK, so y minus negative 4 is actually y plus 4 is equal to, distribute the 10, you get 10x minus 20. And then go ahead and subtract 4 from both sides, and you get y is equal to 10x minus 24. And that is your final answer. OK, let's uh, clear the screen and do another one. How about 5, 3, and 1 comma 0. Okay, so again, we'll use the slope formula. m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And label your points x1, y1, x2, y2. And plug everything in to the slope formula y2 minus y1, well that's 0 minus 3. So that's 0 minus 3. Over x2 minus x1, so that's 1 minus 5. 1 minus 5. And this is going to be 0 minus 3 is negative 3, over 1 minus 5, which is a negative 4. Which equals, if you cancel out the negatives, you get 3 fourths. So my slope is 3 fourths. Okay. So now what you want to do is use the point-slope formula, which is y minus y1 is equal to m times x minus x1. And you're going to plug a number into here, plug a number into here, and plug a number into here. OK, so bring down your y, your minus sign, your y1. Now, remember I was mentioning in the introduction video that doesn't matter which point you choose. This is one of those examples. This is exactly it. You see, this is a lot easier than this. So I'm going to use this point here. Now remember, these points fall on the same line, so it really doesn't matter which point you use, because you're already using the slope. And if you don't understand what I mean when I say that, then you need to watch the first video that I did on the introduction, the detailed introduction. So anyway, so the y we're going to use here is going to be the 0, OK? 
and the m we're going to use is the 3 fourths, which is our slope times the quantity, now bring down your x, bring down your minus sign, and the x we're going to use is this one here, this x. So that's 1. Well, y minus 0 is just y. So 3 fourths times x is 3 fourths x, and 3 fourths times negative 1 is minus 3 fourths. And that is your answer. Okay, so if there's any part of this that you didn't understand, then be sure to check out my detailed instruction on finding the equation of a line. So I hope with these two examples I did that uh, it becomes a little bit clearer. And be sure to check out the other videos. Thanks for watching.